Hello. In this series, I will take you through with the footprinting and reconnaissance. Uh, this is the very first stage of any uh, penetration testing or ethical hacking. Wherever someone asks you uh, to do a pen testing on their network, on their server, or any specific target, very first thing you want to do is to collect information about the target. Uh, I will be using a range of different tools, so there will be a couple of different tutorials. Each of those tutorials uh, will be using different tools and techniques. I will start uh, something uh, with something very simple, then uh, we'll go through uh, with step by step. Uh, bear in mind, uh, footprinting is not illegal in most of the cases. You just need to uh, make the balance between uh, what you are uh, trying to find the information about. Uh, when you work for the organization, definitely very first stage uh, will be to take the agreement from the organization about your um, area of work. So what you can do, what you cannot do, what you can try to find out or which area you will not try to find things out. So this will be um, a, a series of tutorials just to find information about um, a target and uh, once you know certain information about the target you can do quite a lot of other things with that. Uh, now the things uh, I will be taking you through uh, on very fast tutorial simple if you are familiar with uh, networking concept and others this will be one of the simplest one so we'll start with uh, identifying ip and when it's suitable probably identifying the ip range as well uh, it is normal to find out um, about the organization what this organization does how does how does it works these sort of things you also wants to know the size of the organization class of ip blocks uh, but uh, what is more interesting nowadays um, as ethical hacker, I'm always interested uh, knowing about the people. Uh, lots of information about people are online nowadays. Um, any person who is working for that organization and knowing number of those information will allow uh, us to uh, do a social engineering things like that uh, I again I will take you through some steps where you can investigate uh, people uh, also a couple of other things you want to know the operating systems topologies in use what kind of firewalls been implemented whether remote access been used whether remote access is having SSH VPN things like that um, so uh, this whole series will be on one of those topic uh, one after another very first one i'm taking you through with the footprinting by using simple command prompt uh, so for me uh, my uh, attacking machine here is just a windows machine and i have command prompt running here uh, what i will do i have um, a target um, Ah, come on. It's happening. Okay. This is um, uh, just my command prompt in Windows machine. You can use any machine. I have a target website. I just bought a domain for this purpose, which will disappear after certain days. So when you do this testing, uh, you need to find out um, a target domain, which uh, you are legally allowed to test. So let's start. Uh, checking our very fast task. My uh, target domain, firstly, I just want to find out the IP address of my uh, target domain. Simple thing you can do, uh, open the command prompt, type ping, and my target domain name is um, ethicalhackingtutorials.online that's the domain i found uh, cheapest only 99 pence uh, for the tutorial so i just bought it so as soon as i uh, typed ping ethical hacking tutorials online dot uh, tutorials dot online i'm receiving the reply from 46 32 240 33 i have received four replies uh, which means that um, this domain is coming from that 
computer uh, simple so now i know the ip address of the uh, domain where that domain has been hosted uh, now whenever you know this piece of information see uh, by default we sent a packet which was 32 uh, bytes long we want to know the fragment size to know the fragment size packet fragment size of that network which will be um, unique for the uh, whole network uh, unless it is a very exceptional circumstance so if I wanted to find the fragment size, I will say hyphen F hyphen L and then let's try a fragment size of 1500. Now straight away it is saying that um, no, this is this is too big. This computer will not reply with that fragment size. So what I will try to do, I will try to make it a bit less like uh, 1250 and now i can see the computer is replying with that fragment fragmentation uh, let me make it a bit bigger 1400 possibly still i'm having the reply uh, so what i can conclude that uh, this computer my target machine uh, has a fragmentation which is 1400 or bigger but definitely less than 1500 so what i will do i will increase a little bit more 1475 i can see no nope, it is not taking 1475 if i do 1473 nope it is not taking 1473 i'm doing 1472 and i'm receiving the reply from there so whole exercise here is telling me that if uh, I send a packet which is fragmented up to 1472, I will get the reply from this server because this network does have that fragmentation size set. But if I send a packet with fragmentation of 1473, that will not work. This could be a very important uh, findings if you are trying to do a DOS attack later on just these findings can make good difference uh, to your total uh, success so uh, just a simple fragmentation simple command I found the uh, file fragmentation for that network apart from this simple reply you will always have some ping statistics uh, so from here we can see I have sent four packets received four packets so there were no data loss approximate round trip how long it took for the packet from this computer to go to the destination and come back here minimum it was 25 milliseconds and maximum it took 27 milliseconds uh, this sort of information will always help you uh, in so many different ways so by using some commands like that you can find out the hop count um, even you can use tracer i don't think it will work for my um, domain so if i say tracer google.com it could be your target domain which could tell us exactly what's happening from my computer packet went to this uh, ip address so this is my uh, gateway then from there packet would go to another computer from there packet would go to another computer some of those we will get the reply some others probably not uh, but you got to try um, uh, different commands to find out as many information as much information as you can i will uh, close this command now let's try to find out some details about the um, DNS of this computer uh, um, I hope you remember about the DNS how does it works that's not our objective for this session so to find out the DNS information what I'm saying I'm typing the command nslookup <clears throat> now this uh, nslookup command uh, let me clear the screen probably that will be uh, NS lookup so I'm opening the NS lookup console uh, so that I can type number of different commands try different things here uh, very fast thing it is telling me okay what name server you want to uh, look up for so I'm saying 
ethical hacking tutorials dot online this is my name server what I'm interested in so if I press enter it's saying actual uh, name server it can find this one but I have one internal actually this is working like a cache uh, if you like that I'm using a virtual network so that's my local name server which is not a proper one but this is the uh, main name server I'm using uh, to uh, access ethical hacking tutorials dot online website <clears throat> now when you know this probably you want to do a little bit more now let's try a different command set type equals to a and I'm saying ethical hacking tutorials dot online what it will do it will find out the a record for ethical hacking tutorials dot online and from here I know this is the um, um, uh, a record for ethical hacking tutorials dot online this particular website um, now you can continue with uh, different commands like that another one you can try set uh, type goes to C name uh, ethical hacking tutorials dot online what this one will do will tell us the C names of um, this particular uh, website this is my target website and by typing this C name now I can find out that primary name server of that is ns.123 uh, hyphen reg dot co dot uk I just wanted to know the primary name server once I know the primary name server that will uh, allow me to find bit more information about that for example if I now say set type equals to a and this time instead of typing the uh, name of my main website uh, I just want to find out where is the DNS server where is the name server for this website what is the IP address of that so this time I'm typing ns.123 hyphen reg dot co dot uk so I got these details from here ns.123 hyphen reg dot co dot uk what I'm saying show me the a record for this and what I'm expecting I'm expecting to see the IP address of that particular um, computer so from here now I know the IP address of that computer and this is the name server which is helping me to resolve the name of ethical hacking tutorials dot online why I needed to know that now if I want to do a DOS attack DDoS attack anything like that or possibly I'm interested in DNS poisoning this is my target where I should be doing that poisoning kind of things so this is a really a simple uh, tutorial to take you through with some basic commands uh, what you are using on day-to-day -day basis but uh, as you can see just few commands gave me uh, quite a lot of information many of these you can use a um, number of free tools online as well but when you are uh, familiar with command prompt probably it's much easier you will like this way okay thank you I will see you on next tutorial with uh, next bit of footprinting to do people search thank you